One thing you could do to get more viewers and subscribers is to promote your YouTube channel off platform on like a social media platform. And one way to do that is to create clips or little teasers or previews of your videos and push them out on Instagram, Facebook, or LinkedIn or whatever social media platform that you're on. I think this is so great because it allows you to get more utility out of one piece of content because basically you're previewing and encouraging people to watch a video that you've already made and you're funneling people over who haven't already seen that video. This is especially great for any of you coaches or consultants or any kind of tutorial based channels. If you want to give a little sneak peek of a video that you just released, you could put out a one minute clip on social media and encourage people to watch the full video on your YouTube channel. Now, the most ideal format for videos on social media to me is square. The square format works on all of the major social media platforms. Obviously IGTV is vertical video, but if you can keep all of your clips to a minute or less, then you could use the same square social media clip on every social media platform. And that's what I do. So in this video, I'm gonna walk you through my process of how I create square videos for social media using Final Cut Pro. Let's get started. I'm gonna walk you through this process in five steps. So the first thing that we're gonna do is let's create a new event just for this video. I'm just gonna name it test. And then because we're creating a square video for social media, we're gonna go to custom right here. And then we're gonna set the resolution to be 1080 by 1080. So it's a square. And then we're gonna go ahead and hit okay. And I'm gonna find that event. Here it is. I'm gonna name my project um, test. And then here is the project that we are working with. So the first thing that we're gonna do is add our background. And I think most people use black. So I'm just gonna go to, um, if you just click on this <laughs> and then um, under solids, the generator, you can find the custom one. And then you could, you know, you could change this to whatever color you want. So here on the top right, you can select a color from here. I'm just gonna leave it black just to keep it simple and then say, I don't know, our clips like about a minute. So it would be like that. So the next thing that we're gonna do is add our clip. And what I usually do is I take a live stream or I take a vlog or a tutorial and I cut it down into potential clips that I wanna promote on social media. So here's an example from my live stream. I think this is my first one that I did on this channel. Uh, from September 6th, 26, or 2019, I was gonna say 2016. And this full clip, as you can see here, is 37 minutes. So it was a 37 minute live stream. And if you see this project that's in this event, what I do is I drag the whole file in there and then I just cut the file into bite-sized clips. So you can see this first one, it's 52 seconds long. Um, this one is about two minutes long. and because it's over a minute, I'll use that one for IGTV. Um, I try to keep them, you know, I know that if I keep them under a minute, then I don't have to create a separate IGTV one. So I'm just gonna use this one as an example since it's 52 seconds. So once I have the clip that I wanna use, I'm just gonna copy it and then go back to the project that we just created. And I'm gonna drop it into the timeline here. And obviously we want it on top of our generator so boom here we go so because of that it's just kind of gonna format automatically to fit the square you know you have a space up here to put on title text space down here if you want to put on captions and I'll show you exactly how I do that so I go to the this thing I don't know what this is but this thing <laughs> and then under a uh, bumper opener I'm gonna add the basic title so I'm just drag that on top here. Excuse my laptop for being a little slow today. Okay, and obviously we wanna make it the length of the clip and uh, let's call this um, why you should create social media clips. And I'm just gonna do some formatting changes here just to show you a little bit of how my process looks, um, something like this. All right, and then we're gonna move this to be on top right there. 
something like that also if you go to instagram instagram puts the camera icon like right here to show people that this is a video so i try to align everything to the left actually uh just so it's not covered by that so if you ever wonder but that's not a problem on linkedin or facebook but you know i just don't want the title to be covered at all so there's the title um then i'll add another one here and i'll just make it the length of the clip and i'm going to drag it down to here and then basically what sh this one is the caption okay so i'm going to change the font um, just so it looks nicer uh, something like that okay so here's what i would do People often, I'm not going to do this the whole time. People often take it for granted. What I've noticed is that et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. I would probably actually make that a little bigger. Say like, yeah, something like that. So adding captions is totally a pain. There's no fast way to do it unless you're willing to pay. Um, so you just have to type it in. I don't mind doing it because I type fast and I have a mechanical keyboard. So I absolutely love doing it, but um, some people don't. So what I do is, and then I would just break it right here and then change that, add the text, break it, change that, add the text, etc. But if you want, okay, if you don't want to go through like adding the captions for every single word that you say you can make two title clips like you could do um something like this let's see i'm gonna duplicate this um i'm gonna mute this one just so i could show you an example um So this is the social media clips. Okay, bam, 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 bam. Mute that one too. Where am I going here? All right, so something like this. And then just not even add the captions. It would just be like that. So really the, the point of the title text is to catch people's attentions as they're scrolling through you know, the endless stream of content on social media, which is why I think no matter what the title caption that, or the title text that stays on your clip, whether it's at the top or you split it up like this is so crucial because I mean, no one's going to watch a video if they don't think it's relevant to them. So I think that's a must. If you can add captions, that's great. I think it makes it more visual if you do it that way. So I'm going to mute these and go back to my original original formatting so it's gonna look something like that um, the other thing that you can do is add a progress bar so usually there's a bar down here that goes across that's kind of animated and it progresses like you know it'll hit this side once you hit the end of this clip so I can show you how to do that as well basically I would go back to the generator where is it here we go custom and we're going to make it the length of the clip and change the color to whatever you want. I have a thing for purple. And then we're gonna transform this to be where the clip is gonna start. Okay, so it's gonna be like teeny tiny and it's gonna start like down here, right? So something like that. Um, actually, it's a little big but whatever you guys get the idea right so something like that so what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit this is a little more advanced I still um, I had to watch Tom's tutorial show me how to do this but you're you're gonna keyframe right so basically you want to put a keyframe marker where the original position is and then add another keyframe where you want it to end and then show the change right so here at the beginning uh, we are just changing the the x scale i believe so that's the one that we're going to tap that to add a keyframe 
And then here, we're gonna go towards the end. And we're going to scale it all the way to the end. So like there, and tap it again. I think that's how you do it. Show video animation, yes. So it should look, it's not working. <laughs> Let me try that again. Um, maybe you change it first and then you hit the keyframe. And then you hit the keyframe like this, like that. Okay, let's try that. Yay! And you just want to drag this to the to the end. Um, but so you can see, it'll go all the way to the end. So that's how you do keyframes. So you just want to add like if you show video animation here, you'll see a keyframe point right there and a keyframe point right there and. Here you're going to have the original position, which is all the way to the left. And then here you're going to have the scale X go all the way to the right. So that's how you do it. The other thing that you could do is kind of brand your clip. Sometimes I do this, sometimes I don't, but just so you get the idea of like what's possible. Um, let me unmute this. So something like this, and then you could put like your social media handle. Beep. And we're going to put this like here and make it a little transparent so it just doesn't take away. Something like that. You could totally add your logo, add your handle, brand it a little bit. That's up to you. And then what I do for mine, I'll show you actually the clip I, the real clip of this one because I posted already. Um, is I have a picture as the background just to add more dimension, just make it look more different. So that's another thing that you could do instead of just the black generator or a plain color generator is you could use a photo as the background. But here's the final clip of that one that I was just showing you. And then I could show you what it looked like on Instagram. Boop, boop, boop. It looked like this. So there you go. That's how you do it. If you want to see how I'm utilizing square videos on social media, you can check out my Instagram at Heather just create creating square videos for social media is just one of the many ways that you can promote your channel and promoting your channel is actually one of the main topics that was talked about at this year's VidCon. So if you want to see my top 10 takeaways from VidCon 2019, go ahead and check this video next. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll catch you guys later. Bye.